Hello. Welcome to RoboPie. Robotics. Perceptrons. Semantic AI. Conceptual RI. Okay, this is just a quick video to show you where I'm currently at with Pocket Sphinx and uh, eSpeak. Here is the updated version of the program. This part here is um, <clears throat> the new main. It's very small. I moved the uh, TK window over to its own class. That's going to work much better. But let's just run this and see some of the changes I've made. Okay, here's the dictionary apt. And notice I put this new window here. This window will show the text that I speak into the microphone. We still have the Open Alicia button. You can still open Alicia. Uh, we have this Listen button now. And when I click on the Listen button, you'll see some stuff coming over here on the terminal. And it will eventually say Decoder Started. When it says Decoder Started, I can speak. <clears throat> it takes a very little bit of time for that to happen. So let's try this. My name is James. My new game much. Boy, that didn't work very well. <laughs> let's try it again. My name is James. My name is James. Okay. It's that time it got it 100%. It usually does. My name is James. This is the text coming in from Pocket Sphinx that I had spoken into the microphone. And then Alicia uses eSpeak to read this text. I'm going to have her repeat it. My name is James. Okay, she says my name is Gems instead of James. Now that is a problem with eSpeak. I need to put the word James into the eSpeak dictionary and have her pronounce it correctly. So let's try something else. Can you read these words? Can you read these words? Okay, that came out perfect. Pocket Sphinx got it. Can you read these words? That was 100% perfection for Pocket Sphinx, bringing the words in from the microphone. And then <clears throat> Alicia says the words using eSpeak. Can you read these words? Let's try something else. Your name is Alicia. Your name is Alicia. Okay, she says, your name is only shot. <laughs> now, the reason is, a uh, Pocket Sphinx does not have Alicia in its dictionary. So it will never get Alicia correct until I put Alicia in the Pocket Sphinx dictionary. So it, it got what I said into the mic, your name is only shot. Only shot is the closest thing it could find to Alicia. And it will find something different every time, I think. Let's try it again. <clears throat> Your name is Alicia. Your name is Elias Shot. <laughs> Your name is Elias Shot. So, but she it doesn't have Alicia. It's never going to get it right because it doesn't have the word Alicia in the dictionary. So now let's go take another, let's go take a look at the dictionary. I have it getting the dictionary for Pocket Sphinx now. Click on I that. will get you the dictionary. 
This dictionary takes a while to come in because it's so humongous. And here it is. Now, in the Pocket Sphinx Dictionary, it's a little different. It starts with words. In this case, this is an abbreviation for about. That's what that means, about. And these are the sounds that it is looking for. If it hears about, it will associate that with this word. So these are the sounds. They're not exactly the same as foamies. In fact, I think they have a name for them, but I don't remember what it was. I'm going to unlock the dictionary and just move these over. And we can see these should be over here in this column. Just move a few of them over to show. I'm going, they, they, I will have this fixed up so that it puts all the sounds in this column and all the words in that column. Only these won't be called foamies. These are something other than foamies. I'll have to look that up. I forget what they call them. They're sounds that the speech recognizer is associating with words. In fact, here's like, here's fresco. That would be the sounds it's looking for for fresco. And um, you can, that Sphinx train program will take whatever sounds you make and associate them with the word that you're trying to speak. So what you do is you type a whole bunch of words into a, you know, several paragraphs into a text file, and then you read through that, and Sphinx trains will make these up according to the words. And no, it'll associate these sounds with, with the words. So that's how Sphinx trains work. Or you can come in and you can modify them by hand, too, if you want. Now, I put a scroll bar on this, and look at how small that scroll bar is. That's because we have over 100,000 words in this dictionary. Go clear to the bottom. 134,782 words. And most of these words are words I will never use, like all of these Z words. Might use zygote at some point, but even that would be a rare word for me to use. So I'm going to reduce this dictionary dramatically. In fact, I'm going to have the same words in here that we have in the eSpeak dictionary. As Alicia learns new words, they will be placed both in the eSpeak dictionary and the Pocket Speaks dictionary so that she can understand the word and speak it at the uh, same time. And then her dictionary will grow. So anyway, that's where I'm at with this. I have this uh, <coughs> Pocket Sphinx dictionary loading now. <clears throat> so let's exit this. I will close the dictionary. Thank you. And uh, let's try one more time here. We'll do listen. <clears throat> Can you read these words? Can you read both these words? Okay, she, Pocket Sphinx did not get that correct. Can you read do these words? It put the word do in there for some reason. Can you read these words? Let's try it again. When, notice when I pressed it, I have to wait till the decoder starts. I'm going to have that. <clears throat> I have to figure out how to do this. I'm going to have that. When that decoder starts, I'm going to have it turn this button green. Can you read these words? Can you read these words? You see, if you say each word individually and very correctly, it will get them right. Can you read these words? That's 100% understanding. But I also took the time to pronounce each word correctly. So when you speak to... Alicia, you need to speak to her like she is a very small child. Let's try that. 
you need to speak to her like she is a very small child. You may need to speak to her like she... Now, okay, it, it cut off there. There's, uh, you may need to speak to her like she... Look at that. You may need to speak to her like she is a very small child. It didn't get the last part. And the reason it didn't, because it there was too big of a pause. And it thought it was a new sentence, and I have it cutting off. You could have it listening continually. But uh, for this uh, original thing here, I'm just doing one line at a time. Let's try it one more time. Let's see. You may need to speak to her like she is a small child. You may need to speak to her like she is a small child. You may need to sweep to her like she's a small child. Look at that. The only thing it missed, this was Pocket Sphinx, it got speak as sweep. You may need to sweep to her like she is a small child. It got everything right but that one word right there. So this is working fairly well. Try it one more time. You may need to speak to her like she is a small child. You you to shoot me to her like she her fat a small child. <laughs> okay, that one was worse than anything. Let's try it again. Maybe I'll speak a little more normally. You may need to speak to her like she is a small child. You may need to speak to her like she is a small child. Still, not too bad. You got one word wrong here. You may need to speak to her like she is used a small child. So it got is as used. Made one mistake in that whole sentence. So anyway, that's where I'm at. And as you can see, I have it up in GUI already and in Python. And I don't know if I feel like going back and making videos on how to do this. Gonna have to have some people giving me some incentive to do that. <laughs> uh, close, Alicia. Goodbye. Goodbye. And we'll exit out of here and that's it. We're done this video. I was just wanted to show you where I'm at. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And if you can help, please support the channel. Thank you.